Okay, hello dear friends, let's take a look at these stonewares and, uh, and uh, ceramics. This piece is uh, stoneware, it's for storage. And this one is a teaware, so tea bowl. We start from this tea bowl. So this time I went to New York and listened to one um, museum docent to, to do the Dozen tour and make some explanation, kind of uh, give me some new ideas from what I have previously heard. So this is a tea bowl and it's in odd shape. It is in odd shape and um, Japanese particularly pursue imperfection and their pursue for imperfection is especially shown in their tea ceremony. So if you go to a tea ceremony room and in the Metropolitan Museum there was a very, very uh, clean and uh, quite, uh, quite uh, uh, clean and simple room. Back door and on the side there are some, some ceramic on it. And the, the docent asked, do you think this is for tea ceremony or for what? And uh, someone, and we just had no idea. And then she told us it was not for tea ceremony because it's too well arranged and uh, regulate. And you have a plain back door and the shape is square and uh, everything is symmetric. It is not for tea ceremony. Tea ceremony looks for imperfection, for the natural feeling. So it kind of explains, because my husband has lived in Japan, and every time we go to Japanese restaurant or something, he told, he will say something about what he lived in Japan and his e impression of the life there. Japanese like things natural and if there is a chance they will use natural material uh, use wood, use bamboo, use fabric and they try to avoid things artificial they like to keep the form of the original things which quite explain Japanese food, right? If you eat a French food, French food is kind of, uh, you taste it and the flavor is, is so well mixed, it's a melange and uh, you get the flavor of so many secret ingredients but you cannot immediately distinguish a very unique, potent uh, flavor, but Japanese food, it's so clean and everything so separate. You taste the rice, you taste the fish, you taste the soya sauce, you taste the wasabi, you taste the vegetable, everything so very well distinguished, well integrated when you enjoy it, kind of makes sense. And if you put soya sauce in your rice, it's kind of <laughs> not the right thing to do. And, um, and if you blend everything together, it, it should not be. Anyway, I do not know much about it. I will not talk much about it. So this is a tea bowl in front of us. This tea bowl is used for making green tea. And... Uh, it has this natural shape and uh, the Japanese looking for imperfection to the degree that even if it is perfect, they will distort it and make it imperfect. And uh, if you make something perfect, totally wrong shape, you can make 
a lot of production, and、uh, and there is no difference from your one and another one. Okay, let's come back to this bowl. So you can see there are some metal and、uh, metal and steel wire, golden wires on it. It is as if this bowl is broken and mended. And、um, in Japanese、uh, ceramic, it is not. It's not rare to see that something they amended. I do not know about this piece, but it very well possible that this is a piece that is done and intentionally broken or unintentionally broken. But they pick it up and mend it together. That is one possibility. I will not、uh, assume it is so. But just to let you know that、uh, how much they appreciate something, and not to easily throw it away, and、uh, everything has a life, and uh, without uh, those imperfection, this piece will not be the very unique one. And the Japanese looking for the imperfection to the degree that sometimes they use real, real make it round. If you use real, you know, with real you can only make it very even shape. How can this come out like this? When they use real, they will press it and intentionally make it uneven. So this is. The only one, and it depict a particular moment, a particular sentiment, and、uh, there is no replacement for this piece. You will not be able to find another piece is exactly the same because there is no mold, because the emotion is the is different, because the moment. Is different. You never walk into the same river twice. So that is the tea bowl. Quite、uh, interesting. And when you drink tea from such a bowl, you know it is different. Your moment is different. Your experience deserves. To be different, we will talk about this、uh, another time. Okay.
we will talk about these ways another time. I think I can go back to to the Chinese painting, Wu Guanzhong's painting.